Hayden Bunton Jr. is one of the most accomplished profiles in football. However, it has one black mark, his time at Sturt. The Sturt Football Club from 1990 to 1995 was a turbulent time. Not winning many games and saw four coaching changes with a fluctuating player group. The club's off-field finances were not sustainable and a merger with North Adelaide was in the works at an attempt at survival. Although the club would turn their woes around and won a flag in 2002, the Sturt board did their very best for on-field success. One of these attempts at winning a flag came with the appointment of legendary coach Hayden Bunton Jr. Sturt had tried to lure Bunton to the club in the 80s but they were unable to secure his services. But 10 years later they would get their man to coach in 1993. Known for being tough and skillful, Bunce was also a highly acclaimed coach. His resume speaks for itself, 299 games as a player, not including 22 state games, 11 for both Western Australia and South Australia. He also coached in 744 matches in both the SANFL and WAFL. As a player, he won the Sandover medal in 1962 and coached Subiaco to two premierships. And to top it all off, he was an inaugural inductee into the Australian Hall of Fame. Excitement was met with Bunton's appointment. Captain Jay Viney said, Hayden Bunton was our new coach and he came with a reputation of success. It was an exciting time to be at Sturt. Andrew Underwood was also excited by Bunton's appointment saying, when they appointed Bunts, we all thought it was Christmas. Andrew Johns would comment, the great thing about Hayden Bunton, out of all the coaches I had at Sturt, was that he was a winner and he had won premierships at the highest level. He knew what was required. I played my best football under Hayden. However, Sturt would only win nine games in two seasons. What went wrong? David Wag Jr. was at the end of his career after playing some great footy. He said of the 1993 season, I didn't play out the year in 1993. I knew the environment at Sturt was no longer for me. Sturt's start of the 1993 season did not fare well. The closest win by far was a 7-point loss to Central District in Round 10. The first win of the season came in Round 15, the second win occurred in Round 17, and they finished the last two games of the season with wins by comfortable margins. The 94 season would start better off for the Blues. They won the first two games of the season, followed by a win in Round 6. However, they would continue a losing streak and only won two more games for the rest of the year. Bunton would resign at the end of 1994 and Phil Carmen was the new coach. When Bunton departed Sturt, he had said that he enjoyed his time there and that the Sturt zones were not as productive as they used to be. A Sturt junior during this time was Chris Threadgold. He has said this regarding his time under coach Bunton. Hayden Bunton was a lateral thinker. He was very much old school, but at the same time, he probably turned my football life around. He had put the hard work on me quite early after he started in 1993. After my time at North, I think he tested me out very early, which I've responded to. I pulled him aside to have a chat because I thought I had a very good pre-season and was trying my backside off, yet it seemed like he was questioning my commitment. I couldn't work that out. Bunton placed Threadgold at full back and played well in that position. Threadgold finished his career in 2002. Captain under Bunton, Jay Viney said, Unfortunately, under Hayden, things never gelled for us on the park. The senior players at the club were used to a typical run-and-give style game, crashing through and kicking long. Suddenly, we were being taught a game style that is very prevalent today in the AFL. Keepings off football, short kicks, chip there, kicking behind us. It was absolute chaos. My dilemma as captain was I had to try to execute and advocate Hayden's message, but everyone was so confused. Our desire to win was always there because as a footballer you always want to achieve, but as the losses begin to mount it became increasingly more difficult to try and coordinate and motivate the playing group. I initiated a group of players meetings. Again, I did my best to keep pushing Hayden's message in a positive manner, but it all fell apart. I'm not sure Hayden trusted I was doing the right thing by him and at the end of the 1994, we were a rabble. Jay Viney left Sturt at the end of the 1994 season and joined North Adelaide. Andrew John sympathised with Bunton saying, Personally, I think Hayden Bunton was a bit before his time. Even when he coached at Subiaco, a lot of his players eventually drafted by West Coast. He came to Sturt with a game style that involved running, sharing the ball, lots of handballs and short kicks. What's happening in today's football? It's exactly the way Hayden coached us. He just didn't have the cattle to pull it off. We had a handful of players who had the skill and vision, but the whole team was lacking. 
Johns would play his final season in 1995. Damien Kitschke said, Hayden Bunton's entire game plan was tempo footy. It's what they play today in the AFL. Hayden was so far ahead of his time it wasn't funny. He was teaching us the game plan in 98 and I didn't see it again in football until 2007. When I saw it, I said that's Hayden Bunton. As players, we always believed Hayden had gone past his use by date, but in hindsight he was probably too old to deliver the plan to us. Kitschke would hang up the boots in 1994. Phil Carmen would be the next coach of Sturt and had this to say. My feeling is Hayden didn't inspire the boys. As a coach, he was a bit unusual and he had very different methods to what I felt was required in football. During my time with Hayden, I could see some of the players weren't playing for the right reasons. They were just having a good time and some of them might have been earning reasonably good money. Fortunately for me, a lot of the senior players left. If you would like to know more about Phil Karma's time at Sturt, please check out my video on that topic. If you would like to see more content, please like and subscribe. Thank you.